Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Uh, in any swap, you wind up with, you know, trouble, bugs, whatever. So, Daryl's running pretty good. Uh, I haven't tuned any of it really. I just made it so it would start and run for the most part. Um, but I have a couple issues, as is typical. You know, I got disappointed and I parked the thing and didn't look at it for a week but uh the two issues that i'm dealing with today are i have no torque converter lockup no matter what even if i command it on with uh hp tuners it doesn't actually lock and then i have uh a ticking leaking tapping sound coming from the rear passenger side of the engine and I've checked and checked and checked for links. I don't see them. I don't notice them. If they're there, I'm not sure of it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that valve cover and make sure that I don't have a lifter or something, a rocker loose or something like that. Um, and I'm going to verify the wiring that I am actually wired for a 4L80. I don't believe I have an input speed sensor and I, I'm pretty sure I need one. I, there's a bunch of conflicting info online, but I'm pretty sure that I need an input in, input speed sensor in order to tell the converter to apply and how hard to apply so it knows if the converter is slipping or not, according to the power flows and stuff in the manual. So um, I'm going to dig into that. I'll bring you guys back throughout the course of the day as I go through it, and we'll get to the bottom of it. I mean, it's going to be a pretty boring video, but unfortunately that's how it goes sometimes is just troubleshooting and you know running down the bugs okay um this back one's a little i uh, can't see it but the back one's a little loose but nothing like this but there's no tension on this one so that's probably the cause of that issue um we can fix that I don't know if this got missed or if it backed itself off, but we will find out. And I'm gonna come through and hit these with the actual um, ratchet in case this thing's not coming out as much as I think it is. Uh, I'm gonna hook the coil pack up and we'll fire it up and see if it still makes the tap or if anything's obviously wrong back here. Um, and I'll be right back. All right, let's see if we still got a tap. Oh. I got my anti-theft on just a moment. Can't let you guys see the secret to the anti-theft. I'm just kidding. It's the hot wire. I don't care. No, that's still pretty tappy. Uh, I think I'm going to pull those rockers off and take a closer look. I will be back. We'll keep digging until we figure it out. 
All right, so I could edit this out and pretend like I never screw up and nothing ever goes wrong for me, but it's not who I am. So this push rod right here is bent enough that I can't even get it out. I don't know what the underside looks like, but I'm gonna pull that head and uh, we'll keep digging and I'll be back. So I did get it out. It's crooked as a bag of snakes. No idea why that happened. Uh, I really don't know what's wrong. I think I'm going to go try to find my boroscope and uh, see if I can't look inside there. I don't know. I don't really feel like pulling this head if I don't have to. Um, I'm tempted to just throw another push rod in it and roll. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to move on. To the, checking the PCM to see if it's wired for a 4080 while I think about it and uh, as always melting the hell out of my crank sensor wire there as always I will be back all right so you can see here I have a few pictures from my boroscope or endoscope or whatever you want to call it there doesn't appear to be any real damage inside the cylinder I got a few shots of the intake valve as well, and it seems to be moving up and down and working fine. I was able to go in through the head and see the push rod and the lifter going up and down. Um, everything seems pretty much fine inside of it, and I'm not really sure why it happened. I uh, haven't raised the factory rev limiter or anything. The only thing I really did was one time I brought it up on the converter and just floored it you know, down the road. And it kind of hung RPM between first and second because it was spinning so hard. But it should have been doing that at 5,500, which according to the log is where it was at. So, I don't know. I'll go to the uh, junkyard sometime this week and find another push rod laying around if I can. And uh, throw it in there. And we'll continue on the build. I'm not going to do the 4L80 stuff in this video because it's already kind of lengthy. And it, it kind of deserves its own video anyway. Um, but yeah, here's a picture of me in a Burger King crown for no reason. Have a good week, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and check us out on Facebook at The Driveway Engineer. And we'll see you next time.